Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Friday and preseason is here. Probably the last promo of FIFA 21 is here today on Friday with this preseason promo starting today. A lot of people are expecting FIFA 22 related content that is redeemable inside of FIFA 21, right? You see here on this loading screen, we have FIFA 22 branding, but we also have these cards, right? I want to talk about what these cards mean and why I think that they are here. Obviously, this is the second year of the preseason promo. Last year, we had it in FIFA 20. It was way different last year than it's going to be this year, in my opinion, just based off of the timing. Uh, last year, we had Champions League and stuff going on. We don't have that this year, but I want to take a closer look today at what content I think could be dropping today. Also, talk about how it happened last year and how you know some of those similar things could still be a part of preseason this year, even though it looks like it might be a bit different. But of course, best of batch three for footies and all of this footies content is expiring today. Now, not all of it, 100% all of it, but a lot of these upgrade packs, um, a lot of these player SBCs, Conte, Aubameyang, um, you look at guys like the player picks. So those those packs, the footies player pick, those are going away. The 92 plus icon moments pack is going away. So the only thing that's kind of staying is like Umtiti's SBC, the 87 times 10, and I think Lingard has one day left on him. So a lot of this stuff is expiring from the SBC section today. I think also Ansu Fati is expiring, uh, but we will still have Bellerin available um, after today on Friday. Yeah, Bellerin still has got five days left. So that'll be a footies card still lasting here for a while. But let's talk about what content we could see today. Because again, the whole point and the whole branding around this promo is that it is going to be FIFA 22 related, right? It's the FIFA 22 pre-season. And what I think they're going to do is they're going to have a lot of these similar offers and rewards that they had last year in FIFA 20 in FIFA 21, right? It's going to be a lot of little small things that you're going to be able to do to, I guess, get a little bit of a head start or help your club out for the start of FIFA 22 with doing objectives inside of FIFA 21. So again, just like last year, things I would expect to see available through objectives and SBCs. I think those are the two mediums. Again, as it says here, complete select objectives and squad building challenges in FIFA 20 to unlock the following for 21. So roll that forward, FIFA 21, complete these things, get it in foot 22. Coin boost, icon kit, future stars kit, chemistry style, and engine chemistry style. Like, there's probably going to be a lot of stuff that you really don't want to go out and grind. I mean, to be completely honest, I feel like the highest quality thing that they would give away as a reward would be like an 80 plus player pick, an 81 plus player pick, or maybe a draft token, right? They might give you away a draft token for the start of the game. That'd be actually pretty sick if they did that. But I mean, with this promo being so much later than it was last year, last year it started in July. We are at the end of August when this is starting. This promo lasted for a while. There was a lot of packs, but kind of footies overtook that this year, right? Footies was our upgrade packs. It was our insane cards they were putting out. They had best of items and packs. I do think that best of pack content is going to be happening again. That's why I think we have the TOTS cards, team of the years, and the future stars on the loading screen. You might be asking me like, yo, Nate, why are they going to put TOTS cards and team of the years back into packs when we just had summer stars and path to glory and some team of the seasons? Well, I think what they might do um, is, of course, they can't just take everything all out of packs after they've had all this stuff that is in packs. But footies has just been different batches, right? As you see here on the little info screen, scan to see the 200 players in footies batch three. It's not all TOTS cards. It's not all team of the years. It's not all future stars or whatever. I think what they might do with the way that that loading screen looks and to kind of feel like it's still a step forward and something more hype is put all team of the seasons, all team of the years, and all future stars back into packs along with other special cards. There's probably going to be even more special cards available, just not as many top tier ones, right? So in some sense, it might feel like a step back from having 99 Messi because now you're going to have 98 Messi in packs from 99 Ronaldo to 98 Ronaldo, from 99 Neymar to 96 Neymar. I totally understand how some people are not very excited about that, myself included, right? For myself right now, I'm spending my last bit of coins like today, um, before the content drop to do my last few 88 plus player picks and 82 plus player picks because i you know if there's tots cards coming back into packs like those are lower level than these future stars and path to glory so that to me isn't where the hype is with this promo right 
I think the hype with this promo is, again, with these objectives that we will get related to FIFA 22. Because, yeah, you know what? If you're playing FIFA right now, you're a grinder, right? You're putting in the extra effort to see the game out because you love football or whatever your reasoning may be, right? You're just trying to maybe even get back into the game a little bit before FIFA 22 starts. So this will be a great opportunity for you to even, if you're starting to get excited about FIFA 22, get on FIFA 21 a little bit, get an objective done, get a, get a chemistry style, right? An engine chemistry style anchor chemistry style maybe a couple small packs and just kind of help your club um you know as you start into the game in fifa 22 right but just don't expect big rewards like you're not going to be getting icon packs you're not going to be getting like 85 plus packs player picks that are like 86 plus like they don't give that stuff out early on like again seriously i don't imagine anything over like a 15k valued draft token or maybe like a 7.5 pack pack maybe a 15k jumbo premium gold pack as like the highest level reward for an early game fifa 22 reward that we could be getting today but the other part of this promo that i think will be involved that wasn't involved last year was transfer content right we haven't seen too many transfer sbcs or even cards released into this game right we've had messi we have had depai now we all we already have guys like wijnaldum who's got his gold card that has been changed over uh, i think hakimi has got a gold card that's been changed over konate is an item that now uh, he has his liverpool item alongside of his leipzig item so I think what they're going to do with this promo is they're going to be releasing some transfer SBCs. The way they did that last year, and I'm going to show you a few examples if you remember any of these cards. They did the premium SBC um, card design type. They didn't have a new card design. They just basically used this premium SBC one. We had a Sané last year. We had a Ferran Torres transfer item. We had a Timo Werner transfer item. Now, one thing we also saw last year was they released gold cards. Uh, of the transferred cards too. So I think one thing we'll be looking for in the coming days is basically like a gold PSG Messi or, um, you know, as more transfers, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo to Manchester City or Mbappe to Real Madrid. Um, if if those do happen, if those are processed and they, they do end up happening, then those are be items that you might see as a part of this preseason promo. So I think the two biggest things in terms of hype are going to be the top transfer content, right? Basically how we had footies transfers, like the, the transfer SBCs, like for Messi and for Depay, um, I, with something along those lines, but with probably this car design, unless EA add a new car design, um, but related to transfer content and then the FIFA 22 objectives, because this year in FIFA 22, we don't have Champions League going on right now. We just had the draw yesterday. Um, all of this stuff was related to 2020 and with the leagues and the Europa League and Champions League coming back from the pause that was on uh, while COVID um, was happening, right? In the spring last year in 2020, this, these were paused and then they returned in that July, August timeframe. And that's why Road to the Final, Champions League showdowns and all this stuff was involved last year during preseason promo obviously that's not going on this year so you probably won't see any of that sort of stuff um in this game but again i do think the number one thing you can think to see today maybe is the transfer content i hope that they drop the transfer content often early and often but the one thing we need to see is cards actually added to this game and as of right now a lot of these got these items they're not even added at their new teams right mr sancho he does not have a GGMU gold card. As far as I'm concerned, he still only has the Borussia Dortmund gold card, 87 rated. So before I think they can give him specials, which I guess that's not entirely true because they gave Messi a PSG SBC before they made a Messi PSG card in the market. Um, but usually what you see is the card added to the game code with that new league and with that new club. Um, before they actually release items of them in the game. So maybe that's something they're not going to do just yet, but I would expect to see some transfer content today. And I hope EA make it hype, right? Footies has been a really, really hype promo. And if they like kind of pull back and make this not very hype, which I think there is potential with that, if they're only going to have Tots team of the year and stuff uh, on the loading screen in terms of, of the packs, cards that are in packs, that might be a little bit uh, 
not as hype, I guess you could say, but hopefully they go all out with it. Hopefully they release some good upgrade packs, some good player pick SBCs. Maybe this is the time where they will actually up their game a little bit with icon upgrade packs, right? If you think about the icon, the 92 plus icon pack that we have had for a while, has been the same thing they've been dropping for like the past month. This 92 plus icon moments player pick. One of the things they might actually do during this preseason promo is uh, drop some of the packs that were in this last set of swaps. Um, like maybe the 94 plus, again, icon moments attacker mid pack, 93 moments attacker player pick. Th these sorts of SBCs might actually come out as normal content as SBCs, not inside of swaps in the next couple of weeks during this preseason promo as well. That's a way where EA could take this part of content to the next level. So again, I think it really depends upon those SBCs, the transfer content they release, the players that they release, right? There's plenty of options for cards that have transferred and players who have moved clubs for them to put out some really neat special cards in uh, FIFA 21. And then also the objectives and SBCs and the rewards that they give you in FIFA 22, right? Maybe get the coin boost one if it's easy. Like again, you kind of have to, you know, use your common sense. If they're asking you to play 15 games of FIFA to get a five game coin boost. Like, is that really worth it? If they're asking you to turn it in an 84 rated squad for a kit from FIFA 20, is that really worth it? You know, I don't think that's really worth it. So just again, make sure that the stuff that they're releasing, if you want to get involved in it, um, make sure that it's not too much of a grind, that it's just not worth it, especially at this point in this game. That would be my advice to you. But that's the content. That's what we're looking forward to today on Friday. Again, preview packs. I mean, I don't know what is going on with preview packs right now, man. They released a pack today that said 85 to 91 preview pack, but of course it was non-previewable, even though it said preview pack in the title. I think preview packs are done. Either they took a week off or they're going to come back today. Um, and it just feels like they're done, man. So I'm really confused at what was going on there. Also keep an eye on this Nani card because I do believe this guy is going to get upgraded and it should be pretty soon because the game happened about 24 hours ago. Last night, actually, when I was recording the video, um, Nani and the MLS All-Star team actually scored the goal and the, scored the penalty, the winning penalty to win the game. So this card should be getting upgraded maybe today on Friday, hopefully like tonight, especially if you want to use it in the Weekend League. I am giving Weekend League one last hurrah. This is going to be the squad. I think this is basically about the best squad that I can get. Militao is definitely better than Varane. So I'm going to slide him in there. We got the full team on 10 chem, and we're going to be ready and rocking. And uh, I'm excited to use this team in the weekend league, man. A lot of five-star skillers, a lot of great players. So one last run around in the weekend league. That's one other thing they could change today. They might change rewards. Um, I believe, actually, if you go in here and look at the schedule, the rewards, yeah, the rewards kind of stop after this week. So I'm kind of interested to see if they update rewards and if there's any pack code added, they might be adding maybe Summer Stars, maybe uh, Path to Glories to Reds. That would actually be pretty hype um, and that'd be pretty interesting. So we'll keep an eye on Twitter maybe for that, see if there's any pack code that is released. But of course, right now, there is nothing. So that's what we're looking forward to today. Again, these cards should be back in packs, team of the season, team of the years. Might make them drop a little bit, but who's saving packs is promo? Nobody. If there's supply coming on in the market today for these cards, it's because EA dropped preview packs and preview packs only. So that's what I'm expecting today. Hopefully there's great FIFA 22 related content released inside of FIFA 21 today, and hopefully it is hype. So EA Sports, it's all up to you, right? Give us something cool today as a part of this preseason promo. But that's the video for, from me today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.